Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about system interrupts in Windows 11. This is for glitchy GPUs, risers, or maybe the USB shielded cord. So if you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Go to CryptoLLC.org. If you're looking for someone to set up a GPU mining farm, such as this one here, or an ASIC mining farm, go to CryptoLLC.org. We also sell GPUs. So check out our marketplace at our website. Take a look at our 3080s, 3090s up for sale, TIs, uh, 1660s, EVGA power supplies, and ASICs, S19s, S17s, and so on. So check out our site, check out our marketplace, and send us an email. All right, so let's get started. So today's video is gonna be about system interrupts. This is one of our client's rigs. You see it says David, that's the name of our client. It's his 23rd rig. If you were going to be setting up a GPU mining farm with us, we can also have a rig, something similar to this, except that actually have your name on there, your first name. We'll put our client's last name, just the first name. All right, so we have a couple of GPUs that we're testing out right now. They're crashing on this rig. This is one of the newer rigs we just set up for our client. There's three GPUs, this one, this one, and this one, that if I enable them to mine, they crash uh, windows. So it just crashes all the way down, shuts off and everything. I have to do a power cycle to get it back on. Now, what the reason is, is system interrupts. So system interrupts is showing about seven, eight, 10% on Windows. So that means that one of the risers, like maybe this riser, this riser, but most likely it's the ones over here, the ones that are not on. The riser might be not fully on, or maybe the riser is, um, has some kind of you know malfunction and maybe it's just a bad riser as well as maybe the power cords are a little bit iffy on there maybe this PCI Express port here is not fully in into the board so it could be various reasons for why it does a system interrupt but I'll show you what it looks like so here's uh, the Windows 11 for that same rig rig 23 you can see here we have system interrupts at around 10%, then drops down to eight and uh, so on. And the miner is actually running right now. You can see the miner is running. Uh, we are not running those couple of GPUs there, but it is running. But system interrupts, you can see just stuck at 13, 11, 10, 13%, so on. So what we're going to be doing is we're gonna have to find where that system interrupt is. And how you do that is the system interrupt could be from the risers not be fully on so we're gonna shut down the rig uh, readjust these risers here the ones that are not running these three GPUs oh wait I'm, I'm pointing at the wrong rig these three GPUs here we're gonna readjust the risers and then load up windows again start mining and see if that percentage dropped or not and if it didn't drop then we're gonna have to just replace one riser at a time until we find the riser that has a problem. Now, the, the, this is a really tricky thing to find because when I first load up and I go into BIOS or when BIOS is loading, um, all of the PCI Express ports are all going to be green. So the motherboard detects all GPUs. It shows them all as green. So it gives an idea that everything is working fine, but it's not. It's, it's the riser is glitching out a little bit and making that system interrupt error show up. Now what is system interrupt, if you're wondering? It's when Windows is detecting some kind of hardware malfunction or hardware error or hardware glitchiness. Windows is det detecting that and so the CPU tries to jump in and attempts to fix the problem, attempts to uh, you know, kind of prevent the computer from crashing because of a hardware error. And that's why the percentage is like 10, 12, 15. When you have a severe system interrupt problem, then it could be all the way up to like 100% CPU usage because it's just trying to prevent Windows from crashing. And you know, a lot of times that's like from a bad SSD or maybe a bad GPU. So in this case, it's, it's risers from our experience. Most of the time it's just risers. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna reapply them. Now, I don't wanna make this video into a 30 minute video. So I'll just tell you the outcome of other scenarios where we had a problem just like this one. The outcome was after digging around with the risers, I eventually find one riser that where if I just replace it, plug in a different riser, it starts to run, system interrupts drops to zero or drops to like 1%. It's basically gone. So 
that happens, right? You find that riser, you replace it. Um, other times it was a USB uh, plug or the cord itself, replaced it, started working. Um, and uh, so you, eventually you'll find it. So this video is just for um, those folks out there that run Windows and run G minor on Windows. Um, I don't know how it works on Hive OS. If HiveOS uh, has a problem with that or if HiveOS doesn't even attempt to fix it, I don't know what happens when you run a Linux-based operating system with GPUs. But that's how you fix it on Windows, so check out the risers. All right, well, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys like it. Go to CryptoLLC.org if you're looking for someone to manage a GPU farm, if you want to buy yourself some GPUs. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, our various other social media accounts like BitChute, Rumble, Gab, Minds, Parler. Uh, Getter, all the other alternative social media um, websites out there because who knows what happens to YouTube. Well, that's going to be it for this video and until next time, bye.